Hello everyone, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today. I appreciate you. Today we are going to dive into the letter I in our basic graffiti lettering series here. Now within this series, I'm just simply shedding some approaches, some logic, a thought process in which you can go ahead and utilize on your end to go ahead and create letters as you see fit. Now, if you have any questions at any point throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I'm going to do my best to assist you in the best possible direction. With that being said, let's dive straight on into this. So for the letter I, again, we're going to keep it on the basic end. I'm going to do a lower and an uppercase here for you all. I'm going to start with spawning some inspiration. Now, this would be an uppercase I, and I can simply do a lowercase I like so to each their own. There's many ways that we can go ahead and go about doing this. I don't really feel like there is a right or wrong. So these are lowercase i's. This is an uppercase i right here. Allow me to backtrack here. So that one's pretty simple. Simple. A couple of uppercase i's and those are just simple rights. Then I'm going to do it again over here but in lowercase form to see which ones spawn the most uh, inspiration here. And then a simple dot down like so. Now I know that this kind of, to some may not look like lowercase i's, but I kind of like these. I like this one right here, and I like this i over here. Well actually both of these, but I do like the one with a little loop right here. So I'm gonna go with those two. I'm gonna go with this one and that one. What I'm going to begin here is, it really doesn't matter, you can do upper or lowercase first, but now I have a foundation, some inspiration to begin creating. So I'm going to begin the same way that I typically did. So on the uppercase I, I started off right here in the middle. I'm going to bring it down like so. And then the top part went around this way, so I'm going to bring it this way, like so. And then the same thing for this side. Now, since I'm going for a bomb style approach, I don't want all of these connecting. You can go ahead and draw straight through and connect them should you choose to do so. But I do feel comfortable enough to kind of do it like this. So you get the idea. What I'm doing is I'm actualizing the letter in right form and I'm making it in a bomb style. Like so. And then up here, what I can do is, and again, you can always, if you needed to, you can cross in like that, should you choose to do so. And then you can always kind of go back over what you need. And I will be doing this on a pencil for you also. Be sure to stick around for that. So for those who are curious on how to approach this with pencil and, you know, more analog so I like with a more analog approach, I will go ahead and do that as well. Pretty much old school. We are going to do that as well. So you can approach it either way. You can do it the way that I did on top up here, or you can do it this way. I believe you still get to where you're going, and I don't really feel like either or is wrong. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm actualizing, and I'm making this eye in a bomb style format, and it looks like this right here. I like adding these little details to each their own. You don't have to add those if you don't like them. So we have that right there. Then you can simply add your shadings in the back here as you see fit. Forgive me for that. And we have the uppercase I right there. I am going to drop some gray in there like so just to fill it in and give us more context. So that is the uppercase I right there. And as you can see, so we started with the inspiration in which we found from our right. And then we started building upon that and we ended up with a more bomb style approach. So I like the way that I came out. We're going to add another layer and then we're going to repeat that process with the lowercase I right here. I'm going to go with this one right here. So we can begin wherever we feel comfortable. I'm going to begin with this middle part right here. like so and then here something to this extent
And then from here I can remove what I'm not going to be using, which would be right here. And then I'm going to go back and add my little details that I like to add right here. And then from here what I can do is I can add a circle like so, should I choose to do so. Or I could go ahead and add another little one on the inside right here, which I am going to do like so. You can approach it like that to each their own. However big you would like to make this circle right there is however you could go with that. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a circle like around that size. And then I'm going to put shadow right here, shadow right here. And then I'm going to also put shadow right here and shadow right here and fill everything in and that's how <clears throat> I would approach the lowercase i right there and you can simply remove this part right here and have that all one unit again I don't really think like there is a right or wrong I think it's whatever you like best and allow me to demonstrate that so what I mean is we can simply remove this right here and leave it like so and then now we can fill in here like so and we have the lowercase i allow me to organize these and we'll come back so here we have the upper and lowercase letter i now this is simply how i would go about creating and getting inspired to simply get my ideas down on paper please keep in mind that this basic lettering series is to do just that this basic lettering series is pretty much designed and tailored to get your creative spirit going to get you to be able to create from start to finish whether it's a simple letters like this or more complex on your end but the idea is to get you going get you creating we are going to do another series where we're doing wild style graffiti pieces as well and more uh, so advanced letters as well so be sure to stick around for that if you have any questions about anything that you may have saw or heard throughout this video i'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below i will do my best to assist you in the best possible direction I also have social medias all under the same name as this YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I would truly appreciate the support on there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. Thank you for tuning in yet again. You have a great day.